ladies and gentlemen welcome and today I'm gonna show you the same setup again but this time with a large coil in its place um, its performance isn't that good compared to the smaller one which is uh, kind of the same as the two video from yesterday I've done the test already when there's no coil in place so when the coil is like this I'm getting 1984 rpm and when I put the coil like this in there the rpm drops uh, to 1870 that's about uh, 78 rpm drop which is uh, far more than uh, the previous video with the short coil when I load it with the LEDs, it drops even more to 1884 and when I short the coil, it stays at the same 1884 open voltage that's my over voltage around 23.4.5 and if I put the load on it like this one it goes to 3.4 and the LEDs are flickering I don't know if you can see that in the camera oops but the the energy production is not steady LEDs are flickering anyway yeah it is not that bad but it's not that good either I'm better off with the shorter coil in this case now I'm gonna stop it uh, without hurting my hand yes there is how it's look it's looking now as you can see I have a hub for my magnet over here and everything is turning at the same time or spinning whatever you want to call it and the reason I'm not driving it at 29 or 30 volt because uh, I have a little vibration uh, problem small issue and around 29 volt input the vibration is uh, yeah a little bit too much so what I can say in with this setup I did like when I had it say with a small coil so I don't know I will have to see uh, how to improve on that one it didn't slow down the rotor much when it was in its place it did slow down when loaded so we'll see what I can do on that part it would be cool if I had one of these um, ring magnets in half one half south pole and one other half north pole I haven't seen those online otherwise I would have bought one already so maybe I have to cut one in two with a grinder and uh, instead of using this like this use uh, my flywheel over here because this flywheel and these methods are the same diameter I can take it put it over here so in order to get a switching uh, magnetic flux in the coil I will have to have a mag ring magnet that is on one side south pole and north pole to begin with and maybe then I will have even less drag maybe anyway other than that everything is still the same um, yeah that's about it hope you enjoyed it and as always thank you for watching